good morning guys. I wanted to show you today how you can um, take a word and slice it and insert a word or wording inside of it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go and we're gonna start out by clicking on the text button. I'm just gonna type in Jesus. I need him this morning. And we're going to um, <clears throat> take the word Jesus and we're going to resize that baby there. And I think I want to work with Amanda Black this morning. For some reason, Amanda Black is calling my name. Not Amanda Black, but Ariel Black. I think we're going to go with Ariel Black. All right. So there we have Jesus. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Say I want to put this on a t-shirt, okay? So I have Jesus. It shows me that my sizing is great for printing or to, to make. My project, project is okay to make uh, because I don't have project incompatible over here based on the size that I have thus far. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take and I'm going to click on shape and I'm going to choose the square. And I am going to resize the square. And I'm going to give it, I want a little bit of that middle part of the E so that you'll be able to still recognize the full name. And I'm going to go here. I think that's good. I think that's good. Maybe just a little bit more there. So that way we still have a little bit of the middle portion of the E. All right, so now I have Jesus with a square inside of it. So I'm going to click and drag them together to group them. And I'm gonna come down to the bottom and click on the bottom right and click on slice. So right now you have <clears throat> two cuts, which means that if you wanted to make this project, it would cut out this square and it would cut out Jesus, okay? But that's not what we wanna do. So we wanna click on slice and you're gonna see now you have more options over here. And so if I move these around, you can see that there's what we want right there. That's all we want. So we wanna take these and we just wanna delete them. So now we have Jesus. Now I am going to insert something inside of the name Jesus. So I'm going to click on my text button again, and I'm going to select the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I am going to resize this. And you could use your height and width, um, width up top, but I like to drag it. So I am going to drag it instead. There we go. I'm gonna move it up here. And I'm going to drag it about there. There we have the way, the truth, the life. Now, <coughs> if I wanted to put this on a t-shirt and let's say I wanted to do all black vinyl, then I'm good to go. All I need to do is um, put this together so that it will print out just the way I see it. If I wanted the way, the truth, the life by itself and then the name Jesus sliced, then I would be ready to make my project, but that's not what I want to do. So you can see if I click on make it, if I click on make it, it's going to give me two separate prints and that's not what I want. Okay. Unless I wanted to do, let's say I wanted to do one in red and one in black. So let's say I wanted to put the way, the truth and life, the life in red, then I could, um, have it to print out separate and then layer it inside of 
um, Jesus. But if I just wanted it all to be black, then I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to cancel this. And I am again going to drag and group. And in the bottom right corner, I'm going to select attach. And I am going to select flatten. And what that is doing is allowing everything to stay the, together, just like you see it for my t-shirt. And now it's going to print it out and it's going to cut. Now the machine, <clears throat> our printer is going to print it and our uh, cutting machine, my Cricut maker is going to cut, cut it out for us. So if I click on make it now, you can see everything is together. And this is the way it would actually print out and then the machine, the Cricut machine will come and it would cut out this for us so that we don't have to do it by hand. And then we could take this and we can put it on printable vinyl and place it on any type of item that you like. Um, or <clears throat> let's say that you wanted to put it on a t-shirt, you could put it on just regular vinyl, um, uh, iron on vinyl, and then you could iron it onto a t-shirt and if that were the case, if you were going to actually be putting this on a t-shirt, you want to make sure that you mirror the letters so that they look in the reverse. So that when you lay your image down, the letters come out the right way. And then you would just be ready to continue and rock and roll. But I just wanted to show you today a very quick video on how to slice. That's the method that I just showed you. All right, we're going to cancel and come back here <clears throat> again, guys. Um, this is the slice method. And always, always, always reach out if you have any questions, comments, concerns. If there's something you like to see um, me do in, the, in Cricut Design Space, just let me know so that we can start some quick tutorials out here. And you can watch them at your leisure if you want to um, do that. Just let me know. Again, each one, teach one. Make it a great day, guys.